Anyone who has played Good of the Skies knows that Krag is the bane of our entire existences. With spammy RNG based attacks it makes him arguably harder than the final boss, but have we ever stopped to wonder exactly why he is so frustrating? To start, Krag has 7 attacks. Two of those attacks have RNG in them, the red beams and his spear slam, which go in a random direction. And while those two attacks alone wouldn't be too hard to play against, it's when those are spammed with other super frustrating attacks that make it hard to play around the RNG. He has Chain Link, which forces you to go into an orb to prevent nuking. And by the way, any player who is stuck in between the chain gets to take 700 million damage. That means you have to move around his Spear Slam and the red lines with Chain Link. He also has Cursed Flames, which keep you constantly moving as it targets a random player with five decent sized circles zoning you out completely which you have to play around the randomly forming red lines with these five circles spawning on top of you, making it super difficult to survive. Don't forget Flame Burst, which happens while you're running away from five circles spawning on top of you, while you're trying to dodge the RNG red lines of death. And almost forgot to mention the X Blast, which attacks a random player with three X Beams on top of all the other Chaos, as well as the Falling Boulder effectively pushing you out of an entire area of the map while you're trying to dodge the RNG lines and all of his other red mess to kill you. And the cherry on top? The pulsing beam. A purple line that goes from top to bottom in a flashing fashion that makes it hard to move past and around while dodging all of other crags of their attacks. And yeah, it pretty much instant kills you with 2.8 billion damage. And if you do survive to invulnerability or high health, it freezes you in place. To put it in perspective, you could just respawn, get hit by the beam, and be frozen and stuck while your force field runs out and you die. It's happened to me, and probably every other player who's played Gilded Skies. His attacks just make Krag a bullshit boss, making him extremely hard alone, and only a bit easier in groups, and that's if no one nukes from his red lines. However, that being said, there is a very important factor that no one really mentions. Ping. Ping can make or break a fight. Any ping above 200 and you'll be prone to getting hit outside of hitboxes a very high amount. Making Krag or any other bosses that run even harder. You might think, oh I have good internet, right? It doesn't matter. Depending on what DQ server you get put into, you could get anywhere ranging from 60 to 300 ping. And good old Yanny here collected ping data from 10 different runs, the first and last 5 from different groups. 7 out of 10 games I was stuck with above average ping. You'll want to stay under 100 ideally, but no more than 200. At completely random, and the ping stays for the whole run. This ping that is stuck onto you is completely random for each player. I've had 160 or so for one run, while players reported having 300 or 60 for that same run. This ping issue is an unseen killer for a lot of players, making Krag even more difficult and could explain why you dodge quote unquote worse some runs. Ping can quite literally make you get hit even when you aren't in the red, and it's super frustrating. Now that I've covered that, you can see why altogether with Krag's spammy, zoning, half RNG attacks combined with a decent chance to be in a laggy server, make him completely and utterly frustrating. If you guys share my frustration, drop a like down below because Krag, I f***ing hate you. Well that's it for this video, if you would consider supporting I would definitely appreciate it and well, see you guys.